Hello everybody, Don't Blink here again with another Red Orchestra 2 gameplay commentary for you guys. And today I wanted to give an update on this game because the full game has been released. It came out yesterday. And I wanted to revisit some of the topics that I discussed in my final beta video where I talked about a number of the technical issues I was having with the beta at the time. Um, so basically, <laughs> long story short, Many of the issues I was having with the beta have been fixed in the final release, and I'm very happy to report that. I really am, because I've been rooting for this game ever since I first heard about it a few months ago. And thankfully, I feel like with the final game, it has delivered on many of its promises. The graphics seem better than they were in the beta. I know some of you love to rag on this game for its graphics, but I actually like the graphics in this game, believe it or not. Um, the maps are just as awesome as they were in the beta. Uh, they're just as huge and epic and incredibly detailed. The gunplay is likewise still amazing. It's some of the best gunplay in a modern shooter, basically. Um, and I would put it on par with the gunplay in Battlefield Bad Company 2. So if you like the feel of the guns, in that game, then I think you'll be right at home when it comes to Red Orchestra 2. Uh, their recoils and accuracy and aiming down sight, it just feels exactly as it should. So I'm really happy with the gameplay, the game design of Red Orchestra 2 so far. But technically, I still think that Tripwire has a bit of work to do with this game. I'm still having a lot of trouble maintaining good frame rates, good performance, um, especially graphically. I have a lot of difficulty getting frame rates um, even as low as 30 on a regular basis on Ultra. And if I bring the quality setting down to medium, it doesn't improve things all that much. Uh, I still have trouble hitting 50 frames per second, 60 frames per second on medium. So that leads me to believe that it's an optimization issue, and I'm hoping that Tripwire will continue to work as hard as I know they have over the past several weeks to consistently update this game post-launch. So, assuming they do just that, I think that this game is going to end up being one of the better shooters of the fall gaming season. And it's definitely a great way to tied you over until Battlefield 3 drops. It's it's very different when compared to Battlefield 3 and Battlefield games in general, but it, you know, it's also kind of similar. They're both very authentic series. I would say that Red Orchestra 2 is more realistic, which I know a lot of people, especially here on YouTube, are really into. They're really into the realism. So for those of you who love hardcore mode in Battlefield games and uh, love just really tactical gameplay and kind of slow-paced gameplay, then this might be the game for you. I'm usually not into slow-paced gameplay, but I feel like this is a great break from some of the fa more fast-paced shooters out there. And it's a lot of fun to play so long as you can run it. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.